should be live. Uh oh, don't you do that, Sega CD? Don't you do it? <laughs> hey, bacon. All right, good. I must be live. How's everybody? Everybody doing here? Sega CD, cooperate, cooperate. Okay, I was a little worried there. So yes, welcome. Welcome to Sega Lee. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, so yeah, actually, I got the Baymax helmet on my head just because uh, I can't hear the game if I put on the, the, the helmet and I'm going to have to be able to hear uh, some of the stuff. But taking this music and taking all the glorious Sega that we have for you this weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah, excellent. But yes, tonight, tonight I'll be playing for you Dracula Unleashed. It's a game that I grew very fond of as a kid. I used to play with my big sister. Had no idea what we were doing most of the time, but we love the acting and the the F and V for its time. You'll see a lot of actors and settings and whatnot in this game. And a lot of it is time-based, like where you need to be at a particular place at the appropriate time and you have to have maybe an item equipped for a certain cutscene to play. Otherwise, you might get various scenarios that play out or you might end up just getting killed. But with all that said, tonight, as we play this, this is viewer participation percent, meaning I need your help to play this game. You all have to help me get through it because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, we'll just say I don't know what I'm doing and we don't want me to die. So help me not die in this game. <laughs> yes, I need you. You, I need you. <laughs> Yes, definitely you as well. I need all of you. But hopefully, is the sound coming okay? Can you hear it okay? Sounds good on my end? Excellent. Exactly. All right, so then, yeah, I'll let this finish here. And then we will get started. And I'm most likely going to forget the buttons because I haven't played this in, what was it, maybe a year or two. I forget. But here, let's get this, get this show rolling here. I'm going to jump to the game options just really quick. Uh, all right, never mind. I'm going to jump out of game options. <laughs> Begin adventure. And yes, this was 1993. Let me shut up. Oh my bad, 1899, 1899. I wish you were here now, Quincy. You were always there for me when I needed you. Even now, it's your friends who've made me strong enough to carry out what I must do. First it was Father Janos who started me on this agonizing task. Now with the eight of your old allies, it looks like we'll end this horrible scourge. So much has happened these past few days. Mr. Alexander Morris. Thank you. Alexander, Arthur, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your kindness while I've been in your city. And now for you to sponsor me in London's most prestigious club. Nonsense. Your brother and I were extremely close. Here, let me introduce you to some of the other members of the Hades Club, Devlin. Alexander, I'd like you to meet Devlin Goldacre. Devlin Alexander Morris. I believe I've mentioned his late brother, Quincy. Yes, you have. Mr. Goldacre, this certainly is a pleasure. It will be an honor to be accepted into your club. So, Blitz is the brother of the famous Quincy Morris. <laughs> I suppose even London isn't big enough for more than one Texan at a time. What brings you here? Well, it's an unusual story, really. I received a letter from a Romanian priest telling me I should investigate the circumstances surrounding my brother's stabbing. Ah, your Romanian priest couldn't have directed you to a more peculiar city. And now, with the murders in the newspaper... <laughs> oh, 
do shut up, Leopold. Never mind our Czechoslovakian drunk and his ramblings. So, how long have you been in our fair city? Well, a number of months, actually. I got a bit sidetracked from my investigation when I met Anisette. Since we became engaged and her father took ill, I really haven't had the time to pursue the matter further. Yes, well, <laughs> I can see how Anisette could have that effect on a man. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I have a message from Mr. Morris. For me? Thank you. Good Lord. It's a note from Mr. Bowen's doctor. Mr. Bowen has just suffered a fatal heart attack. I have sedated Miss Bowen and would appreciate your presence tomorrow morning. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, perhaps I should go home. I could do with some rest as well. Pardon me. Death is such a dreadful business. said you must let him go. Andrew is gone. I know, but it's so hard. I miss him so. Let me call the doctor to remove his body. The sooner he's in the ground, the sooner his soul can rest. You think oh. that death can take her from me? Oh, Daddy. And that... No! Yeah, that was that was pretty frightening to me too. I don't know about you all. But, ooh, chills. Oof. All right, so we have control. All right, uh, so I think here, the door icon. Basically, I can leave out wherever I am. I'm assuming I'm at home at the moment. We have like this uh, uh, journal here. I think we click on the journal, and most of the time we can write into it. And it helps gives us give us clues to uh, various things going on and also an address book as well uh, to help us get to different places. So I'm gonna hit the pin here. From joining the Hades Club to hearing about Andrew's death, I do not believe I've ever had a more eventful evening, nor do I ever hope to again. And on top of everything else, a most disturbing dream. All right, so right now that's our first little tidbit of information. Apparently we got some other stuff here as well. Let me see if I just go back to Page one, I'm finally in London and have decided to keep a diary to help me in my search. A record of my travels should prove invaluable. Since my only clues have come from Quincy's letters, now I plan to seek out those with him when he died. It was not at all difficult to begin my investigations. One of Quincy's friends, Arthur Homewood, is quite prominent in London society. I hope to meet the rest of Quincy's friends soon. Can the truth of my brother's death be far away? Well, it has been quite a while since I've last written. There's a good reason for this neglect. However, the most beautiful woman in the world. I met Anisette Bowen one night at the theater, and my thoughts have since been of nothing but her. And in the last journal that we had before the new one we just created, one amazingly beautiful night. Never has the sky been as clear, nor the stars as crisp. I've asked Anisette to marry me. She has accepted. Wait, this is from... Oh, okay, I was about to say, if that was like in the span of two days, that's that's crazy. July 16th, that's my birthday. All right, sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. Uh, if uh, <laughs> Marry me and she accepted. If only Andrew, her father, hadn't come down with this strange malady, malady, how, how however you say that, sickness. We'll say down with the sickness, anywho. All right, so we heard him speak to this point here. And like I said, in the journal, you also have addresses that he can... He can go to, which we'll have to click on these when we go out the door and click on a carriage. Uh, and they'll take us to various places. Uh, we can also, how do, how do I back out of here? Okay, C button. Uh, we occasionally will get mail or have to go to like the post office to either get mail or ship mail off. Uh, this is our button to sleep. This is the clock. We need to pay close attention to this. Uh, as like right now it's morning time, I think. AM. Yep, 7 a.m. Uh, we gotta be careful of this because we need to be at certain places either by or before certain times. And uh, just with the nature of this game, Dracula Unleashed, it's probably a, a fair thing to say. We don't wanna be outside at night. Uh, though there may be times where we do need to be outside at night, but just we need to be careful. And we can click this button past time 
to actually help pass the time in the game. Then this last thing is just for saving. I think for the most part, it go to the options. But anywho, to get this ball rolling, let's click out to the door here. Hear that, that, that ominous music. <laughs> it's got a lot to keep in mind. Yeah, I'll try to help keep people in track, but just remember, uh, while well, well, this is our home, just remember this image is our home, if anything. If I, we click on the carriage, and where can I take you today, sir? And let's just say fair bet. Let's go visit Anaset, I guess. Like, I, I honestly don't know where we need to go at the moment, but we'll, we'll visit his, his true love here, and maybe that'll kick things off for us. He's a... Uh, all right. I'd like to go to 10 Campton Hill. Notting Hill, please. Right on time, sir. Oh, and then I actually got I have to exit out good the day, carriage. Driver. Have a good day, sir. Let's click on her door and see what's what's going on in the NSF home. I'm so glad you're here. Shh, it's all right. Where's the doctor? He's gone. He said it was a heart attack. Put on my shock. Shock? An open window in this weather? She'll have to talk with Miss Culpepper. Alexander, I'm so tired. Why do things have to go away? Why can't all the things we love stay forever? So we get some context on what just what we just saw. I went to comfort Anaset in her time of grief. Poor Andrew. I cannot forget his face. Horrible. <laughs> Locked in sheer terror and white as the odd bit of cloth clutched in his hand. I think Andrew is Anaset's father, I want to say. Yeah, Andrew, her father, hadn't come down with some. So whatever he came down with, it killed him. And we just, we made our way over there and just found his, his corpse in the bed. He said, I think I, hey, Paul, he said, I think I played this uh, game before. Good, good. Because then we'll, for, okay, for anybody who has played it before, don't, uh, just be careful not to spoil, but definitely help guide the story uh, if people get stuck and such. So uh, let's go ahead and exit out of here. And let's check check our watch. See my, how much time passed. Seven thirty-five a.m. It's only about a half an hour. I have no idea. Who, oh, I think this is this actually might be Van Helsing. Good day. I am Dr. Abraham Van Helsing. As a teacher, it is my duty and pleasure to instruct you in the proper use of some most. They're <laughs> gonna have to use that one. So yeah, I think he just walks us through everything that I walked us through already in the beginning. So we we took the shortcut. Um, we're gonna hit the carriage here again. Where can I take? And skip. Perhaps I won't be using the carriage today. Oops, nope. I I hit the wrong thing. I called myself trying to skip the dialogue there for a second because the carriage guy never has anything useful to say. There we go. Uh. I click more. Can I not click more? Oh, I hit the arrow, I guess. But we only we only we pretty much now have four choices to go to. Homewood's home, Hades Club, newsstand, or the telegraph office. Chat, where do you all want to go? <laughs> and don't be like wherever you want to go, side. No, 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 no. This is viewer for viewer participation so usually it's either like what chat says oh bacon says let's go clubbing gotta go clubbing all right <laughs> now but fell into the trap grim says get some tabloids all right we'll do hades club and then we'll do the new stand right after that thing please take me to 21 scarsdale villa kensington
Alright, I think Thank we you, driver. I think I skipped the dialogue. Hey, you, Doing those those speed strats. Yep, skipped it. It's going inside. Morris, isn't it? Mr. Goldacre. Indulge my curiosity. Why has Arthur sponsored you into our distinguished club? What in the world makes you think you belong? A gift, really, because of his friendship with my brother. Do you know how old this club is? Now, Arthur tells me that it dates to the turn of the century. He's wrong. It's far older than that. Typical of you Americans. You can't think any farther back than your own wealth history. Age is no indication of virtue. Take your immortal institution here. What does Hades Club mean, anyway? It's rather obvious. Abandon all hope, ye who enter. Word in hell, my boy. Scary. <laughs> Add a, another journal entry for that crazy encounter. I was amazed to discover what a rude bore Devlin Goldacre really is. He's quite unhappy with my membership in his club and told me so in no uncertain terms. I, I really enjoyed the acting as a kid. Like, I felt this was like really high quality at the time. And to me, I feel like it's, it's actually aged pretty well. Odd where we'll be all... all right, so it was said the newsstand. Let's hit up the newsstand, see what... Please take me to 98 Rutherford. Westminster. Here we are, sir. Safe and sound. Thank you, driver. What a good day to you, sir. Click on the newsstand. That paper's not for a weak order today. Are those who lose their heads easily. <laughs> right, messy it is. That fella with his head cut off and all, his blood gone. Ooh. Oh, he needs a drink. It's to the Saucy Jack when this day's over. Saucy Jack? Haven't you heard of it, Gump? The best pub in the Strand. Me and Malthus watering already for a mug of Rebecca's there. <laughs> <laughs> that guy took your hat. We gotta, we gotta get it back. Gotta jump in there and, and snatch it back. I found some curious articles in the paper and pasted them below. All right, so yeah, whenever we go go to the uh, newsstand, they tend to give us like snippets of articles and stuff that we can read. Gruesome murder in West End. Murder most foul was committed in the West End last evening. The body of George O'Keefe, 47, was found at 7.30 a.m. near a tavern of dubious repute. Reports indicate the victim was lured into an alley, beaten and decapitated. The victim's head was left near the body. Oddly, no blood was found at the scene, suggesting the crime was committed elsewhere. The deed is attributed to a series of bizarre murders plaguing the city. Mr. O'Keefe was coachman to Lord Godalming and has no survivors. <laughs> Shouldn't mess with those Retirement. dubious talents. A.R. Sheeman, chief accountant to the Bank of England, has retired after 10 years of service. He gave ill health as the reason. Sheeman replaced the previous chief accountant, Oswald Mason, whose mysterious murder was solved by the consulting detective, Sherlock Holmes. Holmes, what? There's actually a Sherlock Holmes game like this, too. I, I think it's just called Sherlock Holmes and some subtitle but i think that's worth checking out it plays just like this mysterious livestock oh. deaths farmers in houston have Oops. complained to the I local didn't... constabulary about the mysterious deaths of sheep and cattle the animal corpses have been found lying in their fields drained of blood closer examinations have revealed puncture wounds near the jugular veins of the poor creatures Forgive me, I didn't want to interrupt the, 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 the voice there, but thank you, uh, Main Ninja Gaming, and welcome, Raiders. Uh, welcome to Sega Ween. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, this uh, marathon being put on by the Sega crew here. Uh, various Sega games with a, a horror or Halloween kind of 
nature to them. But yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let me also really quick, and yeah, this, this is Sai trying to do some quick uh, editing in the middle of the stream, but I want to get that alert to show instead of my, my ugly mug. <laughs> Let's move that up. So now next time we get an alert, we should see the, the alerts pop up there. But uh, anywho, yeah, some of these news articles. Oh, wait, forgive me. Let me take a step back. For the people just joining from the raid, I am playing right now uh, Dracula Unleashed uh, for the Sega CD. It came out in 1993. It's a mostly FMV kind of game. Uh, but as I play, I'm going to get help from you all, the viewers, to help me play this game because, frankly, I don't know what I'm doing. So we'll just we'll just put it that way and and let's play the lights have been broke for everyone today from what i've seen ah okay uh some of these uh news articles some of them give really good information that can help us like in the places that we go some of them are, i think are just miscellaneous stuff um as we i think we gather from these news art news articles there's people dying all over the place some weird stuff is happening so we got some initial information there Let's leave and hit the carriage again. I don't think I can click that up there. Yeah. And People, what of exactly, all bacon. You like to see today, sir. All right. So then we've been to the Hades Club. We've been to the newsstand. Of course, we've been home. We've been to Enesets. We have not been to Homewood's home here. Um. We haven't been to the Telegraph office, and the Saucy Jack Pub came up after our uh, talk at the newsstand. So where do we want to go? What's next? We have Saucy, again, Saucy Jack Pub, Telegraph office, Homewood's home. Those are the places we haven't been. We can go back to other places, too, but just those are the places we haven't been. Let's follow the lead to the pub crawl. Okay. And hey, Carolyn, good to see you. Going to the Saucy Jack. 20, Surrey, the Strand. Good day, driver. Good day, sir. <laughs> Am I 20 again? <laughs> yep, Raptor. Rebecca really should open up earlier. All right, we went to Saucy Jack and it was closed. So that was sort of a, a dead end for now. But let's uh, take a look at the watch too. 9.30 a.m. So it's still pretty early. Maybe Saucy Jack will open in the evening. So we'll come. maybe we'll come back then sometime like afternoon, evening time, or even at night. Uh, no journal article to enter or entry to put in. Yeah, way too early for the pub. Where will we be? Oops. I won't Why do I always do that? I always <laughs> so quick to hit the button. I click the door to exit. All right, here we go. So then, again, last two places we have not been: Telegraph Office, Home, Homewood's Home. What am I supposed to do if I want to drink at nine thirty? <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Pour it on your morning cereal. Come over to my place, I'll make sure you a drink. Nice, Paul, Paul's got you covered. All right, so Homewood's Home or Telegraph Office. Those are the two places we have not been. Which, where are we going, chat? All right, Carolyn says Homewood's Home. All right, let's go, let's go ahead with 19 that. 19 St. Augustine's, Westminster. It's fair point, fair point. A good day to you. Arthur is busy just now. I'm sure he'll be with you in a moment. Yes, he was my carriage driver. Ah. I had sent him to deliver this package and was beginning to wonder about his late return. Well, where was this package bound, sir? To the residence of Mr. Jonathan Harker. Let's 56, Rochester, Marble Arch. <laughs> it was a gift for his son, young Quincy. Well, thank you so much, sir. 
Well, I suppose this belongs to you, then. <laughs> we found it by the body. Decapitation is a most horrible crime. <laughs> Strange. There's no accounting for the blood loss. Mm. All these people getting killed and no trace of the blood. What a grisly shock. I went to visit Arthur Holmwood only to discover that his coachman had been killed, decapitated, with complete loss of blood. I cut my visit short, but not before learning Jonathan Harker's address. Uh, we got, so we got a new address to check out. Thank you for the good luck, Dan. I hope you're doing well. Uh, so let's hit up the carriage again. Good day, sir. Follow that address. All right. There we go. Oh wait, is my alert off screen? Let me look at that. No, it's on screen. Oh, that Sonic's just moving too fast for me. Thank you for whoever that was from. <laughs> oh, alerts are busted for everyone. Okay. <laughs> so thank, thank you. Appreciate it. And Paul, thank you earlier. I think I saw you, uh, you donated some bits. Thank you as well. Um, Let's see. Harker's home. 56 Rochester and Marble Arch Driver. Hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right on time, sir. Those are beautiful flowers, Mrs. Harker. Oh, I thank you, Mr. Morris. Well, I do love roses. They remind me of someone I once knew. Fragile, beautiful, <laughs> and dangerous. <laughs> and how are you, Mr. Morris? Well, oh, I'm fine, but I'm worried about my fiance, Anisette. Her father, Andrew Bowen, just passed away. Oh, how terrible. I'm sorry to hear it. I knew Mr. Bowen from business affairs. Poor Anisette. Well, I should tell her you send your condolences. But I'm afraid that's not all. The Homewood's carriage man has been, well, Murdered. He was on his way to deliver a present to little Quincy, who was found decapitated, his body drained of blood. Mina, have you looked in on Quincy? Not for a while, no. Perhaps you should. All right. I'm sorry, Mr. Morris, but I have some pressing matters which I must attend to. But I wanted to if talk you to you about... If you wish to talk business, then come to my office. Hmm. All right, we got another address, I guess. This got released on PC and Mac. Yes, yeah, so many addresses. Harkers to inform them of the bad news. I found it odd that Jonathan seemed more disturbed by the death of a stranger than that of Andrew Bowen. Odd indeed. Odd indeed. Oh, that's really cool. I think that may have been mentioned to me before. I may have forgot, but it. Where will Betsy be taking us today, sir? It's good that this has gotten some additional follow-up. All right, so we got. Yeah, we're gonna keep following the leads. We got the Harker's car. Take me to forty-five Ben Church, St. Paul's. For his office. So here we go. A good day to you. Let's check the clock here too. 11.15 a.m. All right, we're still in the morning. We're okay. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I'd like to see Mr. Harker. I'm afraid he's unavailable. If you leave your card, I will ensure he receives it. Hmm. So Harker wasn't home or at the office, even though he had us come there. Oh, one other thing I forgot to bring up. I forgot that this doesn't show up on every screen. So this briefcase here contains various items. Um, and this is like when we head to certain places, uh, we might want to have an item in hand, I think like this. So I, I, I don't know if I should have went in there with Harker's card in my hand and maybe that would have changed something. Let me, let me try that really quick. 
Let me check the time again really quick. Two. 11.20 a.m. Okay, I don't think the time changed, but we'll, we'll click this one more time. Can I help you? Okay, that didn't change, so. So I don't think that mattered. However, let's go back out and let's look at all the items we have on us. And uh, easier said, I know, but let's try to keep track of what, what everything is. I'll put that there. And then I think if I click it and then click this. This is the calling card for Jonathan Harker's office in St. Paul's. Oops. This is the strange white cloth I found in Andrew Bowen's hand. Uh, and it says dead dad. It's the note I received from Andrew Bowen's doctor. This is Father Janos' calling card. He lives in Bistritz, Romania. I think Father Janos might be the person who told us about our brother being killed or dead or something, and that's why we came to where we are today. London's weather makes a handkerchief indispensable. This is a guide to London's museums. This is a photo of my fiance, Anaset Bowen. All right, so that's all the items we have. Um, so let's keep try to keep some of those in mind if if we're able. Where will Betsy be taking us to? Okay, so we've been to everywhere here. Uh, we did not go to the telegraph office. Actually, yeah, we've been to everywhere but the telegraph office, so it's almost free reign at this point. We could try to go back to the Saucy Jack since nothing happened in the morning, but technically it's still morning time, like 11.30 or so. Uh, should we just try to go to, try to pub the afternoon? Okay. Should we try to go to the telegraph office just to knock it out, you know, just to say um, we covered all the places? Okay. 23 Luxboro and King's Cross driver. A good day to you, driver. Right, have a good day, sir. Hello. Good day, sir. Name's Alexander Morris. Are there any telegrams for me? No, sir. Any telegrams will be delivered promptly to their recipient. My sir. Thank you. Okay, so I guess then any telegraphs we receive will come to our house, whereas if we need to send something out, we need to come here to the telegraph office. You said I enjoy that you Uber everywhere in the game. Go to random places I don't need to be just to see if it advances the story. <laughs> All right. Okay, we've officially and where will we've officially been everywhere. We could uh hmm, what do you all think? What can we do? Where should we go? Since we we've, we've pretty much been to everywhere in our address book now. Ah, yeah, we could do that too. You know what, before that, let me, I, I'm curious, I want to see if anything's changed at Anisette's house really quick. Yeah, we could try Jonathan's office in the afternoon as well. I'd like to go to 10 Campton Hill, Notting Hill, please. Hello, Miss Culpepper. I'm here to see Anisette. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Morris. She's not to be disturbed. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I think maybe at this point, yeah, let's let's go ahead and try to pass the time. Uh, Twelve fifty p.m. I can't do it in here. Maybe if I leave. Okay, here we go. Fifty p.m. All right, so I can I can do it here. Let's see if I click it once. One o five p.m. What is that? It jumped up like fifteen minutes. Should I should I keep going? Should we go a little further? What time What time do we think? Check office then pub now. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We are heading to Harker's office. Please take me to 45 Fen Church, St. Paul's. A good day to you. Uh, I help you? Nope, it's still closed. All right, let's we'll let's try Saucy Jack now. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Like, I mean, I thought the rule was afternoon, like afternoon, like everybody's free to drink, <laughs> something like that. Uh, Saucy. Oh wait, I'm getting the places mixed up. We didn't even go. We didn't even go to the. I'm, I'm getting the places mixed up. <laughs> I, my mind is on drinking apparently. <laughs> yeah, Har Harker is off doing whatever whatever he wants. All right, so now now if if this is closed, then something's wrong. There we go. We got something. Alexander Morris at your service. My name's Rebecca Eaton. I'm the owner of this fine establishment. Oh, careful. This one, Becky, is moody. Could be the murderer. Oh, <laughs> keep your mouth shut. Don't mind them. They scare. Count of all the people being killed. Real unnatural like, too. Heads cut off and the bodies all dry of blood. Hey, I'd lose my head for you, Becky. Oh, no. come on. Which <laughs> strange killings they is. And that woman in white been seen all over London. It's like that bloofer lady years ago. Bloofer? What kind of name is that? Never heard the like of four or since. She's a woman what bit youngins on the neck. Where'd you hear this? I read it in a book. I was delivering a bunch of them to that bookstore in King's Cross. What's bookstore. Let's see. The <laughs> noggin's gone all rusty. Goldstein and Orn Goldfield. Gold Acre? Yay, that's it. Gold Acre and Orn. <laughs> <laughs> I read it in the book. Yeah. Um, all right. So that's definitely journal worthy. I found my way to the Saucy Jack, a pub full of local gossips. The regulars were eager for an audience, and I was told of the grisly murders and the eerie blue for lady. Blue for lady. You know what? I'm going to say from previous experience, just hearing that name, I already know I need to save. <laughs> we're going to save right here. Um, and I think we're going to put us in Dracula 1. So that we have a nice little save state, per se. And um, if things go crazy here, we should be all right. We can, we can reset back to this point. And it is 3.30 p.m. As he said, 3.30 p.m. And we got another address. Bookstore. Please take me to 12 Oldbury, King's Cross.
Better bundle your coat, sir. Where? <laughs> Good day, driver. Good day, sir. May I help you? Mr. Horner? Alexander Morris. Mr. Holmwood has sponsored me into the Hades Club. I understand your partner is also a member? Oh, yes. Devlin mentioned you. It will be a pleasure having you in our club. What brings you to my little bookstore? Well, this might sound a little bit strange, but I've been told you have a book about the Bluefer Lady. The Bluefer Lady? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. She would appear as a beautiful ghost-like woman with a horrible practice. And she would summon children only to return them later, some on the verge of death. The children would call her Blufa instead of beautiful. Yes, there's a striking resemblance to some other cases I know of. Um, how much do I owe you? A gift from one Lord of Hell to another. From the library of Dr. John Seward, Perfleet Asylum. Hmm. <laughs> Why all these creepy club members? Seth Highwin, thank you for that raid. Welcome, everybody. Warm bagged. <laughs> Welcome, raiders. And I'm not familiar with that alert, but thank you for what that alert represents. Uh, I'm Cyphering here, playing for the Sega crew on this fine Sega Ween day. Sega Ween being a marathon hosted by Sega crew of uh, various horror spooky games that are on various Sega consoles. Here I'm playing Dracula Unleashed for the Sega CD. That's an FMV story driven type of game, and uh, the viewers, you, are all helping me to play this game. So let, did I hit the journal book already? Nope, let's go ahead and do that. Well, I do believe I've found the most curious bookstore in London. I've never <laughs> Drinking seen such an food. odd collection of books. Horner certainly seems to know his business when it comes to ghastly legends. <laughs> Drinking some yoga, that's right. There's a, a, a pub that we go to, the Saucy Jack, to get our drinks on. Uh, so let's hit up the carriage, see if any new addresses came out of that. The asylum, that which was mentioned in that book that uh, Alexander was reading. Yep, 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 there we go. So yeah, let's check out the asylum there. I'd hmm. like to go to 52 Bishop's Bridge, Paddington. Good day, driver. Right, have a good day, sir. What do you want? Alexander Morris to see Dr. Seward. The doctor's busy. The loonies is acting up now. Go away! <laughs> Here, take this. You may need it. I'll see if the doctor gets your car. Yeah. He just gave us an item as well. So let's see what this item is. <laughs> I actually imagined you saying that too, Bacon. <laughs> it seems that Dr. Seward is a busy man. I couldn't see him today because his loonies are acting up. Perhaps I'll try him again later tonight. Ah. Oh. In a clue, a clue. So we need to come back here later tonight at some point. Uh, so let's exit and hit up our little bag here. This blackjack seems to be quite a deterrent against lunatics. Uh -huh. Oh, we can also check out this book now too. Alfred Horner was kind enough to give me this book on the blue for lady. So now, yeah, we got this item here. Sounds like it'll protect us from stuff. Yeah, I bet the loonies are much better behaved in, <laughs> at night. <laughs> Do a quick time check. 4.50 p.m. 4.50 p.m. Let's see if any new, uh, Where can all type you? any new addresses popped up now. 
maybe now is the time to visit Harker's office. Let's let's give it a shot. No one misbehaves at night, never. Please take me to 45 Fen Church, St. Paul's. We're here, sir. Yeah, if he's not here this time, then I, I don't think this man works at all. Or it could be his off day. As regards our previous agreement, Mr. Morris, how can I help you? Well, I've come on personal business, sir. Uh... I feel a bit foolish, really. I don't know where to begin. Well, there are so many strange things that have happened as of late, and well, I have so many questions. Well, Mr. Morris, I appreciate that you think I can help, but this is my business office, and I'm quite busy. Good day. Dang, he just kicked us out. Hmm. That was rude. I went to speak to Jonathan Harker, but he seemed far more interested in his dictaphone than answering my questions about Quincy. Hmm. Just looking at these items again really quick. Playing with the dictaphone in front of everyone. <laughs> hmm. I want to try something really quick. Now this 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 here might be from an old memory of mine, but I, I'm I'm curious if I like show him show him this card, like if anything changes. Oh uh, nope nope that was the the bad one. Like the office was just plain closed. <laughs> Even though we know he's there. <laughs> Lies. Okay. 5.50 p.m. 5.50 p.m. Um, go ahead. Put this back. And then let's head up to the old carriage. Where will Betsy here? Okay. So we know we have to go to the asylum at night. Uh, other than that, I don't know where else to go now. Like, no new addresses came up. Oh, yeah, good call, good call. Put the blackjack in when we go to the, the asylum. Uh, should we revisit any of these places? There's also the option to just go home. I think if we go home, we can go to sleep. Though I don't know if like going to sleep, uh, if that skips like a lot of time or what. Check on the fiance again. Okay. I'd like to go to Ten Campton Hill, Notting Hill, please. A good day to you. And it's set. Be home. Come lay your weary troubled head upon my loving breast. Tomorrow brings the sun again, but now tis time to rest. Moonlight, hold you safe and warm, your brows the stars caress tomorrow brings the sun again but now it is time to rest a lovely song there you are leaving poor Anna set alone at a time like this you can come sit by me Alexander Juliet just stopped by to try and cheer me up she's offered to spend the night here Always a pleasure to see you, Miss Adams. If anyone can make Anaset feel better, it's you. Her dad, because her dad died. I hate to say it, but last night I had a dream about your father passing away. He was lying there, as peaceful as can be. He seemed to look up, and there was a woman standing beside him. She shone like an angel and reached for him. 
saw his arms go to her, and all around him was flowing white. And then she turned to him, and I woke up. I believe it was an angel come to take him to heaven. I feel her presence all around us. Even this cloth reminds me of my dream. May all of us go peacefully. I don't trust the bluefer and I don't trust Anaset's friend here. Whatever her name is. I'm so glad Juliet came to visit. Juliet. Her very presence always seems to hearten Anaset. I just hope Anaset doesn't start having dreams like Juliet. Yeah, I hope I hope so too. We're going to commit both of them to the asylum. Yep, this is take a CD, Zetox. <laughs> Make sure. Okay, I thought. Oh yeah, we got a rose. Lovely Juliet Adams handed me this rose. Okay. Where will we be? All right. We visited Anaset again. Oops, actually, you know what? I'm going to say one more time. We're actually going to do Dracula 2 here. Dracula 1, in case we need to go back further. Of course, we'll have to go through it. more cutscenes or uh, this one here so that we can sort of fast forward back to you know, some present time or some later time. Uh, but yeah, actually, I want to see what time it is again. I think I shall remain. 8.50 p.m. All right, we're getting, definitely getting into the, the nighttime hours. Good evening, sir. Where can old Nelly take you tonight? Uh, I'm thinking the asylum again, but anybody else? Have any objections? Should we go somewhere else? Blackjack Asylum. Okay. Well then, let me back out of here. Perhaps I won't be using the carriage today. I don't think I needed to do this, but we'll just do it here. Put it in hand. And then go to the asylum. I think I Oops, shall darn it. Do that again. Click the carriage. Don't click the door. Good job, Sai. You did good. Um, now click the asylum. Confirm. I'd like to go to 52 Bishop's Bridge, Paddington. All right. Let's see if anything changes. Is Dr. Seward available? If he's here, he's busy. I'll give him your card if I seize him. Uh, it might be too early still. <laughs> I'll make my own asylum. Hey, radioactive man, how's it going? So if I can't see him, I'll make my own asylum. I'll, I'll and force him to be there so that I can see him. Nine fifteen p.m. All right, nine fifteen p.m. Where will we be going? Okay, so I think maybe we might have to wait even a little bit more uh, before the asylum becomes, like maybe something happens there based on our journal entry. Parker didn't have anything for us, at least when we visited him this past time. We can always go back to Saucy Jack. 80s club. I feel like, from what I remember, newsstand is like always like, say, start of day, come here, or something like that. The pub could be hopping. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, and then we also have Home with Home that we, uh, haven't been there in a while. So, yeah, let's, we'll go ahead and hit up the, the Saucy Jack. Please take me to 20 Surrey, the Strand.
Thank you, driver. Good Lord, what was that? It was a wolf's howl, Governor. That's not a sound you want to be hearing around here. Last time I heard that, it meant death. The Demeter Wolf, they called it. Come off a ghost ship in a storm, sent by the devil himself. Only one still aboard was a captain, dead. The beast fled that damn ship, first chance it got, running off to the devil knows where. None of us saw it again till it came after me, mates wailed. I was watching from the woods, too far away to help. I seen it coming after him, snarling as loud as all the demons of hell. <laughs> Knees gave out as I seen it leap at him. The merciful Lord blessed me so I wouldn't remember what happened to him, but as I fell, I swear, that wolf reached for swales with two arms as human as yours or mine. Poor old soul. <laughs> yeah, he does. I never found the beast. Still out there somewhere. Waiting for its next victim. I'd be Alexander. Excuse me, waitress. I'll have what he's having, <laughs> please. I'd like two of those. I heard the most interesting story of the saucy Jack. The old man was actually shaking when he told me about the Demeter Wolf. Yeah, is this like like Grim says? This becoming Wolfman unleashed. Ten fifty-five p.m. Ooh, 10.55. Come on, the asylum has to be open now, right? Uh-oh. Alexander. Alexander. And it's set. Is that you? Oh, Alexander. It's late. What are you doing here? I was so worried about you, Alexander. And I was so lonely. It's cold. You don't have a coat. Here, take mine. No! And so we're dead. <laughs> No, I don't want to see my death again. They didn't give me a chance to click on anything. Oh, we're stuck in an infinite loop. <laughs> kind of the girl you take home to my. <laughs> no, let me out. Let me out. I think it's supposed to... There you go. <laughs> oh no, this this tragedy beyond measure. With you gone, who is to save us? Who can destroy Dracula's evil plans? But wait, there is still chance. Were you to try again, or <laughs> should I say rise again? Maybe, just maybe the Nosferatu could be stopped. Our fate is in your hands. Dang. So what time was that when we got killed? It was 11.55, I think. All right, let's load. And let's try, let's try loading Dracula 2. I think we died around 11.55. So whatever we do, we need to do before Good evening, then. sir. Where can old Nelly take you tonight? Uh, wait, let me, let me check the time again. 8.50 p.m. All right, 8.50 p.m. Maybe we need to, like, just sleep outside the asylum or something. You know what? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm going to try. Oops. So... I'm going to the asylum. Go to 52 Bishop's Bridge, Paddington. Check the clock. 9:10 p.m. 
Wait, I did this last time, didn't I? Yeah, I did that last time. All right, all right, wait. Where did I die? Was it will we be going what, tonight, sir? Was it at the Saucy Jack leaving there and I died? Where did where did we die? Yeah, died outside the pub. Okay, so don't go to the pub. <laughs> we do not want to go to the pub. Uh I almost feel like maybe we should pass time here at the asylum. And then maybe they'll let us in. I think I shall remain here. And then also, let's look at our items again really quick. So we said, have the blackjack in hand. Or also, the black, having the blackjack in hand could have impacted old boy from showing up. All right, actually, yeah, let's take it off. Let me go in. Is Dr. Seward available? All right. He's still not available. All right, we're going to have the time pass here. 9.15 p.m. 9.30 p.m. 9.45 p.m. I'm taking it to 10 o'clock. Oh, crap. <laughs> we're dead. So you can tell that I'm that I died because all the options at the bottom just gray out. Like you can't you can't do anything after that. All right, let's let's load that again. Be in bed before ten. We could do that. We could go home. We could go. We, we could go home and try to sleep and then maybe come back out like at 2 a.m. or something. Maybe maybe that's a strat. Uh, all right, let's go home. Forget that Demeter, Demeter Wolf nonsense. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid to go to the pub. Thank you, driver. We got no mail. Uh, we got no new journal entry. Let's hit up the bed. Oh. And it's set? Oh, fudge. Oh crap, I said skip the wolf and look what happens. No! Wait, we're live. We're live. We're live. <laughs> okay. Nightmares like the one I had last night have unfortunately become all too common as of late. I'm, all, I'm afraid to leave the house. 1.55 a.m. Let's see. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> Dang it. And I'm stuck in the loop again. Let me out. <laughs> I think this game is telling you to wait until morning. Okay, okay. So then let's reload. Though they, they did say to go to the asylum at night. Like, I feel like it's something with that asylum. Good evening, sir. Yeah, no one. Old Nelly take you tonight? That wolf bit probably is important too. All right, let, all right, all right, all right. Let's try that one more time. Let's go to the. The Jack. Please take me to twenty. Because at least, yeah, at least they let us do something here. But wait, 
I think again I left here and then I died. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna skip skip the cutscene since we've seen it already. And then exit. Now if we're dead, then okay, yeah, we're dead. We might have to load that earlier save. So I'm glad I took the two saves. And I need to take this off because this keeps sliding off. I'm stuck in the groundhog's day of death. <laughs> uh, load. Um. Where will we be going tonight, sir? All right, Grim said we need to sleep till morning, so we're gonna Please wait. We can't. Holland. No, we can't pass the time like while we're in the house. So I go in the house, I sleep, I wake up, I leave the house. That's when I die. I'm pleased to say that we've arrived at all destinations. Eight fifty-five p.m. So I don't. I don't think we can. I can we keep sleeping? Here, okay, we'll try that. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna skip this since we saw that as well. That's when Anisette turned into the wolf and bit my throat. Yeah, the first file is the earlier save that I did, so we can go back earlier in the day to to figure out what we what went wrong. Maybe maybe there was something we did not we didn't do. Uh, uh oh, nope, I can't click the bed again. And we're dead. <laughs> All right. So do we do we want to go earlier in the day and try to retrace our steps? Yeah, this is this is this is a, a brutal situation. We could go back to the earlier save, or maybe keep trying to click on the different locations on this save to see maybe if something triggers. What do you all think? The first save was pretty early. I, I want to say like early afternoon. Okay, exhaust all options. Where will we be going tonight, sir? Uh, where will we be? Homewood's home? Yeah, let's try Homewood's home. I'd like to go to night. Sorry, Arthur isn't here. He's at a meeting with Mr. Stransikowski, a fellow member of the club. Yes, I've met Mr. Stransikowski. He's a rather odd man, uh, but it is so sad. He was such a gifted composer before the death of his wife, Ileana. It was a carriage accident in Europe at a place called Borgo Pass. She was buried in London where her family rests. She must have been very beautiful. Oh, yes. Although I never met her, uh, and the ceremony was a closed casket. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must deliver this present to the Harkers. Well, I'd be glad to do that for you, Mrs. Holmwood. Oh, I thank you. But call me Regina, please. All right, something's weirder with her. She said some lady was beautiful, but she'd never seen her before. The lady died, and the casket was closed. So something ain't right, <laughs> right with uh, Holmwood's wife there. I had a strange conversation with Regina Holmwood today. She told me of Leopold Stransikowski's tragedy. I feel sorry for him. The death of a loved one is always bitter. All right, so at least we got something, but let's see. If we leave here and we die, oh. 
I almost feel like now, since we got that new tidbit and we got that, that gift, we might need to do the earlier save. Because, like, I can't even, I can't do anything now from this point. Because I, uh, I guess we, I went too far. Yeah, so let's go ahead, load that earlier save. And hopefully it's not too, too far back. Okay, well, okay, let's check out the club. That's a good point. Let's check out the club then before I load the earlier save. But she gave us a gift too, so that's an item that we we want to pick up eventually. So I'll hit up the Hades Club. Please take me to 21 Scarsdale Villa, Kensington. Mr. Strasikowski, how are you? So, it is the Texan seeking companionship in this time of loss. No, no, I just... <laughs> ah, you think you know of loss? I lost my wife. Oh, my poor Ileana. But she is not dead. Oh, no, she lives. I have seen her walking in the moonlight. Get hold of yourself, oh, man. Ileana! <laughs> Okay, yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Club and had a miserable encounter with Stransikowski. He was well into his cups and quite delirious. He believes his dead wife is alive and attempting to communicate with him. All right. If we leave in debt, we're alive. We're alive. We're alive. 9:35 p.m. Uh, let's let's do we go to the asylum now or do we do we go back to the Homewood house? Hmm. You know another thing that could do. So I think this here gives you a map and probably. Uh, the time it takes to get to places too, maybe that factors in and like taking the carriage somewhere probably triggered it to be super late, you know? So that's, that's another thing to think about. Cause I think I've seen that when I have played it in the past, like if you go from here all the way to somewhere here, like you might see an hour pass versus 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, I saw the I saw the menu gray out. I thought I was dead again. <laughs> uh hmm. Good evening, sir. Where can old Nelly take you tonight? Alright, so at least we can try the Hades Club from that save. I don't want to create a new save because the save might still be bork. But uh should we try the asylum now? Or should I go back to Homewoods, talk to the crazy lady? Home, home, I said home, homewoods, home, yeah, no, I said homewoods, right, homewoods. <laughs> Try the homewoods again, the saucy jack for the, the wolf story, or, yeah, we definitely need to go to the asylum, for sure. So asylum, saucy jack, or homewoods. The earlier comment about revisiting the assignment at night is sticking with me. All right, you know what? Yeah, let's just let's give it let's give it a try. Oh, the same studio that did Shadowgate. Nice. Bishop's Bridge, Paddington. Explains why it's so easy to die. Oh, I'm dead. All right, let's hit up. We gotta hit up Hades again, and then. Let's see if we can hit up any of those other spots. Or, or I guess we could try even a spot we haven't even thought of too. Like like Grim said earlier, exhaust all options before loading the earlier save. So do this. I'm gonna hit up Hades. Good evening, sir. Confirm. Please take me to Do the, the menu skips here.
talk to the crazy old man again. So Asylum is out. Get up the carriage. Where will we be going tonight? Let's try Homewoods again. I'd like to go to night. Yep, oh, I'm dead. All right. Hit up Hades Club again. And this time we'll hit up... Uh, I feel like the Saucy Jack is going to... Yeah, I think you're right about the distance. And yeah. Might be boned with the save. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm thinking. I think I think we are definitely uh in trouble here. Please take me to twenty one. Alright, it's Hades again. Oops, I replayed the video. Yeah, you can re which by the way, yeah, you can replay videos if you need to. Um, leave, carriage, Homewoods is out, Asylum is out. Um, Saucy Jack, I feel like I'm going to die just going there too. Please take me to 20. We're gonna, we're gonna try it. Yep, dead. Yeah. Okay, okay. I want to try one more place before uh, we 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 abandon the save. Dracula two. I'm really glad I created, well, I mean, granted, it's a messed up save. I'm, I'm glad I still created it. Uh, what was it that I wanted to try? I think I wanted to try uh, actually the bookstore again. Please take me to. Tw oh, bookstore didn't kill me. Closed. Should keep better track of time. Dang at it. Now nah, I'm probably dead. <laughs> oh, we're alive. To the asylum, quick. <laughs> I'd like to go to fifty. We we tried that and I woke up like at two thirty in the morning and died. And you can't you can't keep sleeping. All right, I think uh, I think I'm ready to abandon this save now. Yeah. So let's load and see what time it is here. What the heck, game? What the heck? Right, it's the first time we visit Saucy Jack. Hello, sir. How's the day treating you? Now it could be better. Come watch this again. Oh, I hate to see one of my customers in the mouth. <laughs> Tell you what, you give me your name and I'll get you a mug of ale on the ice. Yeah, I'm curious about it too, so let's hit that up early. My name's Rebecca Eaton. I'm the owner of this fine establishment. Oh, careful. This one, Becky, is moody. Could be the murderer. Oh, <laughs> keep your mouth shut. Don't mind them. They scare. Count of all the people being killed. Real unnatural. Okay. Cut off and the body's all dry of blood. Inspired by the game to get a drink. Strange killings, they is. That woman in white been seen all over London. It's like that bloofer lady years ago. Bloofer? What kind of name is that? Never heard the like before or since. She's a woman what bit young'uns on the neck. 
Where'd you hear this? I read it in a book. I was delivering a bunch of them to that bookstore in King's Cross. What's it called? Let's see. <laughs> the noggin's gone all rusty. Goldstein and Horn Goldfield. Gold Acre? Yay, that's it. Gold Acre and Horn. All right, so that's what opens up the library. Or the bookstore, rather. Check the clock. 3.30 p.m. All right, 3.30, and we pretty much, you might as well say die somewhere like 9 p.m. So we got like five and a half hours to figure this out. So with that, yeah, 9.30, 10, yep. Thank you today, sir. So then let's go then to... Let's go to the Homewood home since we got something out of that. I'd like to go to 19. Good day, driver. Oh, I'm sorry. Arthur isn't here. He's at a meeting with Mr. Stransikowski, a fellow member of the club. Yes, I've met Mr. Stransikowski. He's a rather odd man. Oh, but it is so sad. He was such a gifted composer before the death of his wife, Ileana. It was a carriage accident in Europe at a place called Borgo Pass. She was buried in London where her family rests. She must have been very beautiful. Oh, yes. Although I never met her. Uh, and the ceremony was a closed casket. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must deliver this present. Oh, was it? I didn't pay attention. I'll do that for you, Mrs. Homewood. Oh, I thank you. But call me Regina, please. That package. Who did she say to deliver that to? Crap. <laughs> sorry, sorry, one more time. Oh, I'm sorry. Arthur isn't here. He's at a meeting with Mr. Stransikowski. My bad. He's a fellow member of the club. Yes, I've met Mr. Stransikowski. He's a rather odd man. Oh, but it is so sad. He was such a gifted composer before the death of his wife, Ileana. It was a carriage accident in Europe at a place called Borgo Pass. Yeah. She was buried in London where her family rests. She must have been very beautiful. Oh, yes. Although I never met her. Uh, and the ceremony was a closed casket. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must deliver this present to the Harkers. Well, I'd be glad to do that for you, Mrs. Homewood. Oh, I thank you. But call me Regina, please. Harkers. All right, so we're going to put the, the gift in hand. And then take it to the Harker, I guess maybe Harker home. I had a strange conversation with Regina Homewood today. She told me of Leopold Stransikowski's tragedy. I feel sorry for him. The death of a loved one is always bitter. All right, let's check the clock. 4.20 p.m. All right, I think we're, I think we're okay. This gift was meant to be delivered to little Quincy Harker. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, so then let's go to the Harker's home. Fifty six Rochester. I have the gift in hand. I'd like to see Mr. Harker, please. I'm sorry, he isn't here right now. What? I guess let's try the office. I'm already I'm wasting time already. <laughs> Parker's office. Please take me to 40.
Regarding our previous agreement... Oh. Uh, Mr. Morris, how can I help you? I'm delivering this for the Homewoods. It was the gift their coachman was taking to Quincy before he... Yes, uh, well, thank you very much. I've come on personal business as well. I feel a bit foolish, really. I, I don't know where to begin. So many strange things that have happened, and, well, I have so many questions concerning yes, the... well, I appreciate that you think I can help, Mr. Morris, but this is my business office, and I'm quite busy. I see. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. Wait. Mr. Morris, please, I don't wish to appear careless. Here. Take this. A friend of mine gave this to Mina during troubled times. She would like Anna Set to have it to comfort her. Thank you, Mr. Harker. Oh, heck yes. So Anna said, don't bite me on the neck. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> let's, we're, going right, we're going right over to the house right now. <laughs> I went to speak to Jonathan Harker, but he seemed far more interested in his dictaphone than answering my questions about Quincy. I believe he's avoiding the topic, but he was kind enough to give me a gift for NSF. The journal entry changed, if you noticed as well. It, it cut off like around uh, the dictaphone part. Uh, answering my questions about Quincy. It stopped there. But then it... They added this extra text. Guess who's not dying tonight? Yes! Check the, check the clock too. 5.35. And look, we got plenty of time to spare. We can hit up all those other places. What part of our beautiful city would you like to see today, sir? I want to see my fiance so, so she don't kill me. I'd like to go to 10 Campton Hill. Notting Hill, please. I think we do have time for the bookstore. It's, it's still pretty early. Yeah, we got to redo that. Right on time, sir. All right, let me put this, this thing here. This cross necklace was a gift from the Harkers to Anisette. Put that in there, put it on her neck. Come lay your weary troubled head upon my loving breast. Tomorrow brings the sun again, but now it is time. I don't trust her. We saw her last time, and then my fiance bit me in the neck. I'm blaming her. She's the blue for lady. Right, exactly. Tomorrow brings the sun again. But now it is time to rest. A lovely song. There you are, leaving poor Anna set alone at a time like this. You can. Come sit by me, Alexander. Juliet just stopped by to try and cheer me up. She's offered to spend the night here. Always a pleasure to see you, Miss Adams. If anyone can make Anna set feel better, it's you. The Harkers have also been generous. Mina wanted you to have this necklace. Jonathan said that it had been given to them during a time of loss as well. You know, it's strange. I hate to say it, but last night I had a dream about your father passing away. Keep your dreams to yourself. I saw him lying there as peaceful as can be. He seemed to look up, and there was a woman standing beside him. She shone like an angel and reached for him. I saw his arms go to her, and all around him was flowing white. And then she turned away, and I woke up. I believe it was an angel come to take him to heaven. I feel her presence all around us. Even this cloth reminds me of my dream. May all of us go as peacefully. Mm -mm. I'd be like, Anisette, I'm sorry. Julia, you need to get the out of here. You need to get out of here right now. <laughs> we don't talk that crazy around here. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so glad Juliet came to visit. Her very presence always seems to hearten Anisette. I just hope Anisette doesn't start having dreams like Juliet. Hopefully the Harker's necklace will make her feel somewhat better. Hopefully. All right. So then we gave her the necklace. Yes. Good call, Bacon. Good call. So then let's save over our busted Dracula 2 save. All right, so we've saved. Check the clock. 8.35 p.m. Dang. Wow, we jumped like two hours, I think. Faust, how's it going? I believe it was an angel. Get out of here. Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> no. Uh, all right, let's, uh, we need to go to the bookstore still. Where will we be? Bookstore. 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 Please take me to 12 Oldbury, King's Cross. Yeah, definitely having a good night. Hope the same for you. Yes, sir. Good day, driver. Good evening to you, sir. <laughs> yeah, this game got me hooked right now. Nice. All right, hopefully it's not closed. Dang. Keep better track of time. Uh oh, I hope that don't mean I'm dead. Let's see if I hit up the journal here. Okay, nothing. So that wasn't noteworthy. We're not dead. We are not dead. That's good. Nine thirty-five p.m. Uh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we either, evening, sir. Where can old Nelly take you tonight? we either go to the Hades club to get that little storyline, um, moving with the, the crazy dude near the fireplace, or we go to saucy Jack and then we hit up the asylum. Yep. Club or pub. See if we live. Uh, okay. All right, so yeah, let's do that then. We're gonna hit up the pub. Please take me to 20 Surrey, the Strand. I'm alive. 9.55 p.m. All right, I'm gonna skip this one. Since we've we've seen that a good number of times already. And I'm I'm anxious. I'm wondering if we walk out of here if I'm gonna live. I heard the most interesting story of the saucy Jack. The old man was actually shaking when he told me about the Demeter Wolf. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes. I'm dead. No. It's a loony. <sighs> you gotta be kidding. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's reload. <laughs> All right, all right. From this point forward, we keep the blackjack in here. I don't have the, oh, we don't have the blackjack. <laughs> Crap. All right, we go into the asylum first. <laughs> We're going to the asylum. <gasps> oh. Yeah, it was in the book. No. Take me to 12 old. No, don't be close. No. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. 
We got to reload. <laughs> we got to reload the old save again. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Save current game before loading the save game. No. All right, back to 3:30. Yeah, that that's definitely brutal. Okay. It, it should be 3:30 still, right? I think it's 3:30. Yes. 3:30 p.m. Bookstore, then Homewood, then um, Harker's office. Yep, we did. We did lose time going to the home first. So, bookstore. Please take me to tw Speedrunner strats. You know, I think the last time I looked this up on uh, speedrun.com, there's no leaderboard for it, too. Thank you, driver. All right. Free world record. Yep. All right, so I skip that. Go straight to the journal. Well, I do believe I've and skip that too. Uh, we'll look at that later, but we already know we get the book. Let's head to the asylum right now. Nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Get back in there. Thankfully, like clicking out of the carriage and all that does not waste time. I'd like to go to 52 Bishop's Bridge. I mean, in game, it doesn't waste in game time, but it does waste our time. Which, speaking of that, what time is it? 10:58. I think am I supposed to be on for just another hour? I suppose I think I'm supposed to be playing Devilish, but I almost feel like maybe we should just continue this. <laughs> Alexander Morris to see Dr. Seward. The doctor's busy. The loonies is acting up. Now go away. The loonies is acting up. That's the same dude who took me out. Here, take this. You may need it. I'll see if the doctor gets your car. Man, that guy should get fired. Since he let that, that loony out and he choked me in the streets. Alright, so we got the blackjack. It seems that Dr. Seward is a busy man. I couldn't see him today because his loonies are acting up. Perhaps I'll try him again later tonight. Okay. So we, we got that ready to go. We now head to the Homewood home. Yeah, I got I to gotta get the gift from Homewood. I'd like to go to 19 St. Augustine's. A good day to you. I really should look at the clock. <laughs> Though it, it doesn't matter at this moment. Uh, enter the journal entry. I had a strange conversation. Uh-huh. Now we'll check it. Six o'clock. Six o'clock, okay. Put the present in hand. Hit the carriage. Go to the office. Please take me to Fort. A good day to you. And then please give us the necklace. Regarding our previous agreement. Okay, I think he's I think he's gonna give us the necklace. Should I save here? Let me put the journal entry in and then I'll, I think we should save. I went to speak to Jonathan Harker, but he seems far more interested in his dictaphone than. Let's go ahead, save right here. Save over the busted Drac Dracula 2 is unlucky, but let's go ahead, save over it. Um, head to the fiance. Happy Halloween! Is it official? 
Oh, East Coast it is. Happy Halloween to you all. I'm still Central Time. Uh, oh, I almost almost misclicked. I'd like to go to 10 Campton Hill, Notting Hill, please. Thank you, driver. Good night, sir. If you all are doing anything on Halloween, be safe, be careful. Um, I'm keeping it indoors. I know my family's keeping it indoors as well, but I know there's people also still, you know, going out doing Halloween things. Just, you know, stay safe, have fun, but always stay safe. Oh, no. No. I went in there without... I did save. At least I saved. How much time did I waste? 9.55 p.m. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, you know what? No, 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 no. We're going we're gonna to reload that. <laughs> Don't save that. All right, so we get the get the gift again. Or sorry, we get the necklace. Stop talking. <laughs> Make sure your journal entry's in there. Yep, it's in there. Exit. Hit the briefcase. Move that over. Give it to the crazy fiance. Listen, Juliet talking that that nonsense. I'd like to go to ten. All right, it should be good. Check the journal entry. I'm so glad you. Wait. Yep, okay. She has it. Time. 9.55 p.m. 9.55 p.m. Exit. Don't you die. All right. Equip the blackjack. Put the, the rose down here. Okay. Where do we want to go now? We could We could go back to the Saucy Jack to get that wolf story. We got the blackjack in hand now, so we should be, we should be safe. Should. Yeah. Okay. So let's yeah let's hit up the saucy jack again then. Please take me to twenty. A good day to you. Yep, we still gotta go to the asylum. And we gotta go to the Hades Club too. Alright, so we get the wolf story. Add it to our journal. I heard the most interesting story at the Saucy Jack. The old man was actually shaking when he told me about the Demeter. All right, this is where I left last time and I died. Nothing's happened. I th think we might be okay. I said, I pre appreciate Twitch freezing the stream so I had to refresh and watch another ad. Really killer user experience. Yeah, the ads have been like really crazy all of a sudden after they said they, they stopped with the mid roll stuff. Uh, so we didn't die this time leaving the pub. We be going tonight, sir. Yeah, yep, we got the blackjack in hand. We're either, yeah, got the necklace given. Um, there's either the Hades Club to go to, or um, we can try the asylum now. You want to try the asylum now? Yeah, I think it is. Here, I, I'll make sure. I think I shall remain. 11.50 p.m. 11.50, yeah, it's about to be midnight. 
So yeah, let's let's hit up the asylum now there. I'm like, like you go to fifty two. Hopefully the blackjack having it in hand doesn't screw up something at the, at the asylum there. We're not dead, so that's good at least. Quincy's oh. brother. I gladly shake your hand, sir. Your brother was a fine friend and a true gentleman. Oh, thank you, sir. I was wondering if I might take a... I met my wits end for dealing with them. I can only think it is caused by the full moon. The red moon rising. So it's true, then, what they say about the moon and madness. The inmates often succumb to its influence. Farnsworth with his howling, Sherman drooling like a mad dog, and Renfield with his paranoid fits and ridiculous demands. It's almost as bad as the last time that... Yes, you were saying? I'm sorry I bored you like this. I always ramble on about my work when I'm tired. Why don't you come back tomorrow after breakfast? Well, all right, Doctor. All right, we got to come back in the morning now. But progress, we are about to save. <laughs> Let me write it in the journal. I went to the asylum and met Dr. John Seward. His work seems most demanding. I found it odd that he avoided telling me more about the inmates and the effects of the moon. And let's save. And I think also with that, with that there, um, I'll leave it to you all, I guess. <laughs> Do we want to continue this or should I switch to devilish? And don't, don't leave it in my hands. They'll say whatever you want to do. I want to, I want to ask, what would you all like to see? Continue this or uh, play devilish? Because I, I think, yeah, let me actually, let me click the schedule there just to make sure. Uh, yeah, I got another hour left here. I'm down for more of this. Okay, I'm kind of into this. Okay, cool. All right, we'll we'll keep with this then. And I'm gonna save to Dracula three just in case. So we're still alive. What time is it? One o'clock. We definitely we definitely did something good because we're not dead. <laughs> um and where can I take you today, sir? We could hit up we can try the Hades Club now. I imagine a place called the Hades Club is probably still open around this time. Yeah, let me let's check me to twenty one. Let's check that out. And we're not dead. Oh, never mind. They're not open. I swear I hear someone. You know what? I'm gonna see if that creates a journal entry at all. If it doesn't, I'm reloading that save. It does not. So that was a useless uh, travel destination. Don't save. Dracula 3. Load. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we don't need to hear that again. Exit. And so now we know we have to hit him up after breakfast. Hey, Lee Hyos, doing good. It's doing. We're doing good playing Dracula Unleashed here. Um, Harker. I feel like we don't need to hit up Harker at all because of that necklace. It feels like we got something really key already for this day from them so I think that rules them out can't think of anywhere else to be this night yeah maybe yeah maybe we can go home go to sleep now this 
disturbing people at like midnight seems odd. Yeah. I want to I'm going to check out this bookstore one more time. Cuz I me to 12 nah, Oldbury King's Cross. I'm I'm going off of an old memory. I feel like something happens at the bookstore at night. Good day, driver. So I'll I'll reload the save if this isn't anything. I felt like I needed to do that just because, like, it's something that you wouldn't catch. Like, just playing this normally. And I think I, I encountered it before. But yeah, and that jar looked like a jar of blood. But let's see if the journal entry says anything. That Alfred Horner is a strange man. The bookstore was closed when I got there, but I caught a glimpse of him through the window. He has a hidden room behind his shelves and was carrying a jar of what appeared to be blood. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Let's leave. We're not dead. That's good. Hey, Mora, how's it going? We be off to this fine day. All right. Now I think I'm definitely, and thank you for the good luck. Now I'm thinking, yeah, maybe we could go home. Because, yeah, I can't think of anything at the Harkers. Asylum is Asylum said, come back in the morning. Saucy Jack gave us the Demeter Wolf story. Telegraph office, we don't have anything to send out. Hades Club was closed. Anna said, need to stay her butt in the house. <laughs> don't need to be walking the streets. Homewood's home, I bet they're asleep. So, yeah, let's... Club has someone there, which is strange. Yeah, though when we when we checked the journal, uh, it uh, like when we went there and we knocked and he said, "I swear I could hear someone." It didn't add a journal entry, so I think that was like, uh, you know, it wasn't uh, a useful visit. So yeah, let's. I guess let's go home. Please take me to Forty Five Holland, Notting Hill. All right, don't day, don't don't be dead. All right, we're not dead. Get in the house. Lock the doors. Can I write in the journal? Nope. All right, I'm going to sleep. Oh. And it's set. So same cutscene we saw before when I went to sleep. The question is now, when I wake up, am I going to die as soon as I step out the house? Nightmares like the one I had last night have unfortunately become all too common. 7.30. It jumped. It jumped uh, pretty far ahead because when I died last time, it was like it said two thirty. So it's it's definitely morning. Seven thirty a.m. We made it to day two, people. Day two. Don't think I've seen this. Oh yeah, this is Dracula Unleashed for Sega CD. Came out in nineteen ninety three. Uh, I think it's a cool game. Uh, it's like a a movie adventure. Let's click save, and is it safe to say that we can override Dracula 1? I think, I don't think we're coming back here, right? All right. Okay, I'm override Dracula 1. Uh, all right, so let's leave and good day, 
sir, where might I be taking you? Hmm. Asylum guy said come after breakfast. That could be any time in the morning, really. I Part of me wants to go to the newsstand, because I think the newsstand tends to get updated like every morning. Okay, yep. Please take me to 98 Rutherford, Westminster. Good day, driver. Yep. Moves ain't pretty today, gov. There's been another murder. Mm. When will they catch the fiend? But this one's different. A lady was found. She still has her head, but not a drop of blood. Horrible. I bet the fella that's been doing this didn't have time to finish the job. The art's closing in on him. Just a matter of time now. He still has Grimm's hat. We're going to have to, like, jump him and take Grimm's hat back. I purchased a paper and clipped out some rather interesting articles. Yeah, it does sound like progress. <laughs> you say, yeah. <laughs> Obituary. On the 28th December, after months of suffering, the Honorable Andrew Bowen, age 54 years, survived by loving daughter, Anna said Bowen, 19, to be interred 10 a.m. at St. Joseph's Cemetery, Paddington. 10 a.m. St. Joseph Cemetery. Let's see if that comes up in our address book after I finish reading these uh these clips. Police suspect foul play in St. Pancras' death. Murder strikes again as the body of Mary Blythe, 27, was found in St. Pancras at 9 a.m. Miss Blythe, a seamstress for Caxton and Sons Clothiers was discovered by one of her co-workers as the shop opened for business. The police report indicates cause of death as extreme blood loss. Unlike recent murders, the body was left intact. Investigators believe that the murderer may have been interrupted before he could complete his gruesome task. Miss Blythe survived by her mother. So that doesn't seem relevant to us. Entertainments, Lyceum Theatre, a two-week run of William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream will begin tonight at 9 p.m. It is performed by the Royal Shakespeare Company. Admission is two pounds. This one at least has a time. Mm, if I mention if there is an address for Lyceum Theatre, then maybe, maybe this is something to look into. But at least. Reading these clips, the obituary seems like it's relevant to us. Um, let me click back into here. Go to addresses. Well, it's the same. So let's see, Jack. Cemetery. Yep. And I think the news clip said to be there. The Andrew Bone was being interred at. Uh, 10 a.m. I believe, right? Yeah, okay. Two pounds seems like a lot for 1899. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, what time is it? 8.30 a.m. 8.30. All right, so then maybe we go to the asylum and then try to go to the cemetery? Let me, you know what? Let me save in case I screw this up. So I overwrote Dracula 1. I'm going to overwrite Dracula 4 now. Dracula 1 is sort of like our new day save. Should I have time to do that? Okay. So yeah, let's go to the asylum. Good day, sir. I think it's safe to remove the blackjack right now probably you think or should we keep it I'd like to go to 52 Bishop's Bridge Paddington good day driver good day sir because I think the blackjack is still in my hand 
Well, I guess going into this island, maybe we should keep it. <laughs> Wait, let me make sure I do have it equipped. Okay, I do have it equipped. <laughs> All right. Let's see, going in. Here's one of the reasons I could not meet with you yesterday. A number of our patients have been keeping me busy, but none more so than he. Good Lord, I believe he has actually gotten worse. Life, life, the blood is the life. My life, all of the life. But it's here, here. I tried it, but no good. It's come back. The blood is the life. The blood is the life. Good God, Doctor. Do you always let animals roam through the patient's rooms? Well, I... How did you get a hound in here? It's here. The blood is the life. The blood is the life. Strange, the tracks seem to go from the window to the bed and then back again. Well, I don't see how Renfield could have made them. There's no other mud in the room. Never underestimate the mind of the insane, Alexander. I've known Renfield to be capable of... What? What is it, Doctor? What? Oh, uh, nothing. But it really is time I got back to work. I'm sorry I haven't been much help. You wanted information about your brother. I'm afraid I can't tell you anything. However, I believe my old mentor may be of some help. Dr. Abraham Van Helsing. Van Helsing. Uh oh, we getting somewhere. Van Helsing gets mentioned. I don't envy Dr. Seward his position. Working with lunatics like Renfield is not a pleasant occupation. Whatever could that poor fellow mean? The blood is the life. Oh no, yeah, we're late. <laughs> Cause I was thinking while that cutscene was playing, I was like, hmm, did I need to go visit Anisette first? <laughs> And then we go to the, the cemetery together or something or what? Uh, um, uh, shoot. <laughs> uh, yeah, good thing we saved. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's 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 just check that out. <laughs> Let's reload. Don't save. Dracula 4. Was I already at the asylum when I saved? Hopefully not. Let's see. Okay, good. So then let us then... Let's go to Anisette's house. I'd like to go to 10 Campton Hill. Notting Hill, please. All right, check the time. 9.15 a.m. All right, still early. Thank you. Thank you for... Uh, if you followed or subbed, I can't, I can't see the alert. I'm not entirely familiar with it myself, but thank you so much for that. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, this is what I was doing. We don't want to walk in there. and <laughs> We got the blackjack equipped. Well, unless Juliet starts acting up and we need to knock her out <laughs> with the... <laughs> oh, Alexander, I'm so happy you're here. Nana said, how are you? I'm fine. But I'm worried about Juliet. She's so pale and has said such strange things lately. She has even taken to sleepwalking. How are you, Juliet? I'm doing well. I had another dream. And now that you're here, I must tell it to you both. I saw Andrew again. Oh? Yes. He told me that he is happy now, that he is finally at peace. His worries and troubles are no more. And then we hugged. And he said that you needn't worry, Anisette. That he is watching over you. I believe he is in heaven now. That's beautiful, Juliet. <laughs> yes, but it's so odd. Father never showed affection to me. I know that he loved me, 
But I can't think of the last time he said so, much less hugged me. But he is free now. Anne is set free from pain. He flies with the angels. He is free to show his love. I'm all right. I think I've overworked myself a bit. I just need some rest. Thank you, Anisette. All this sleepwalking's taking its toll. Let her rest. Yeah. And like you said, pale. Mm. I'm concerned about Juliet. She's so pale and has taken to sleepwalking. What could be disturbing her? In these dreams, they seem odd and unnatural. All right, it's 1045. We missed the cemetery again. It's now making me think, does maybe the cemetery not matter? Um, yeah, let's reload that. We're going to just see what happens here. Dracula 4. And then Good day, sir. head straight to the cemetery. Yeah, that's why that's why I think too. It has to be something important. I'd like to go to thirty. And thank you again um, for a follow or sub, whatever that may be. Um, again, I can't see exactly what uh, what just happened there with the alert, but appreciate it. 9 10 a.m. All right, 9 10 a.m. I wonder if I should fast forward time to 10 a.m. Here, I think I think it should be okay if I go in here and then fast forward time. Are you looking for someone? <laughs> I know where they're all buried. <laughs> no, no, thank you. <laughs> hmm. Ten o'clock. Nine fifteen a.m. All right, time did not fast forward there. So let's back out. That dude seems fun. <laughs> So let's uh, fast forward time here just to see. 9.15 a.m. 9.30 a.m. 9.45 a.m. 10 o'clock a.m. Are you looking for mm -hmm. someone? <laughs> I know where so maybe maybe it's just it's something saying like to know that Andrew's here and I don't know something important comes up later that's a good point let's see uh, journal obituary on the 28th of December I don't know, it just, it just says 10 a.m., but it doesn't say what day. So, assuming it was supposed to be today, maybe it's just saying that, like, and for it to come up, that this is some important location later. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. So, with that, just to save on time, I'm reload that that last save again. Uh, Dracula 4. All right, what was the choices again? Anisets or the Asylum? I think... You know what? I'm curious. I want to do I want to do the Asylum first. And then I want to go to Anisets to see, like, if she... 
you know, she's still there. They give the same cutscene, or if something happens, because it's after 10 a.m. now. Then we'll know something's up. I'd like to go to 52 bishops. Uh, Blackjack still equipped. I guess for now on going into the asylum, I'll have the blackjack equipped. Here's one of the reasons I could not meet. Okay, so that's that cutscene. I don't envy Dr. Seward his position. Working with lunatics like Renfield is not a pleasant occupation. Whatever could that poor fellow mean? The blood is the life. All right, I'm gonna leave. I'm going to unequip this. Oh, we got this card here. Dr. Seward gave me Professor Van Helsing's calling card. He Oops. Dr. Seward gave me Professor Van Helsing's calling card. He lives in Amsterdam, Holland. Amsterdam, Holland. All right. Let's see if that opened up the address book. I don't. That doesn't sound like that's close, but I'm just curious. Okay, no. Send him a good call. Good call. Um, very good call. Uh, all right. Before I do that, should I go visit visit Anaset first? To see today, sir. Or should we go straight to the telegraph office? <laughs> sure, see how bitey she is now. All right. All right, let's go to Anaset and then we'll go to the telegraph office. Notting Hill, please. And blackjack is not equipped. Make sure. Okay, it didn't change anything. Except Juliet's still crazy. Add that to our journal. I'm concerned about Juliet. She's so pale and has taken to sleepwalking. What could be disturbing her? In these dreams, they seem odd and unnatural. That's a good question. I have no idea what the the flowers for. Let's, let's examine it again. Lovely Juliet Adams handed me this rose. So she gave me the rose. I'm not sure if we need to, you know, give it back. Like have it equipped when we go to Anaset. But maybe if we go to like the Homewood house or something. We can try equipping the rows at some point. But even before that, let's go to the telegraph office. And what part of oh yeah, that's a good point. She does mention the handkerchief. 23 Luxborough and King's Cross driver. So we'll keep we'll keep that in mind as well. Um, let's equip this card. Excuse me. Yes, sir. I'd like to send an overseas telegram. And what is the destination? Good job, Carolyn. Amsterdam, Holland. Amsterdam, Holland. I have sent a telegram to Professor Van Helsing. It reads, I was given your card by Dr. Seward. I have urgent need of your assistance. I am the brother of Quincy Morris. Please reply. All right. Um, okay. Good day, sir. Where might I be taking you? So then... Do we then want to try the handkerchief? Like, do it? Should I? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, good call. I'll say right here. 
Uh, let's go to Dracula 5. I bet the actor who played the Telegram Man has played one before <laughs> several times. He's, he's that good at it. Oops, I didn't mean to leave. The best Telegram Man well, I've ever seen. Taking off today, sir. Okay, so then... Do we want to try the handkerchief? Typecast as Telegraph Guy <laughs> forever and ever. Do we want to try the uh, uh, handkerchief on Anisette's home? Let's see if somehow we can give it to Julie, Juliet, or because with that, I don't know where else to go at the moment. Though the one interesting thing I would say is Harker. Harker gave us that necklace and we didn't die. So I definitely, if I can, would like to visit him at some point. Perfect mustache and demeanor. Can you get the item description on the two items again? Here, I'll go out. So the... Uh, it's either one of these two. London's weather makes a handkerchief indispensable. So that that's my handkerchief. This was the one that was found on Andrew when he passed. This is the strange white cloth I found in Andrew Bowen's hand. Oh, well, this is more so just some cloth he had. This, I feel... I don't think... Sh I feel like this... Part of me feels like this is for some little later. Hmm. I don't know what though. The flower, I have no idea. I mean, we can we can definitely try try this here, or we can try my my handkerchief to see if. Cause that crap, I can't remember in the cutscene. Oh, I pulled out my handkerchief. And what's her name? Anisette was, uh, you know, drying her eyes. So maybe it's this. Maybe it's this one. Hmm. So I saved the Dracula 5, right? Don't know if it would trigger anything just yet. Yeah. All right, where are we going? Because it sounds like we can tr test the handkerchief idea on H Anisette's home, or we have the other options. We never did get into the Hades Club after what's-his-name was losing his mind. We saw an old boy at the... Oh, that's the other thing. We saw an old boy at the bookstore with his secret lab or whatever he had with the blood, the blood jar. So we have a few options. The bookstore, uh, maybe it might say something about the blood jar. Saucy Jack might give up some more information. Uh, Harker. Harker definitely is... Some, there's something important about him since he gave us that necklace and we didn't die. Um, thanks to him giving us the necklace. Um... Newsstand is out. Telegraph office. We we did that thanks to Carolyn. And again, Hades Club. We never got in there because um, it closed up on us. And then Homewood's Home. I have no idea. Well, Homewood's Home. We have the crazy wife who's all like, "Yeah, I know these things, but yet I was never there to experience it." <laughs> so she's about as baddie as Juliet, as far as I'm concerned. Bookstore is intriguing. All right, we could... I saved the Dracula 5, right? So I guess we could check out the bookstore. Please take me to 12 Oldbury. Oh, Kingsford. and home, because we sent the telegraph, uh, we got to go to the house to pick up whatever package may come. Yes, 
Thank you, driver. That's the other thing. Good day, sir. Ah, Byron. Very good. That will be one pound. Very well. Oh my. What an interesting handkerchief. Oh, it's just a bit of cloth I found. Hmm. Perhaps you can tell me something about it. I'm afraid I can't help you there, but you might try the university. They have all sorts of scholars who can illuminate it for you. <laughs> Here, let me help. Oh, thank you. It's just a minor cut. It's never minor where blood is concerned. Oh, man. <laughs> all right. We got at least three crazy people. Well, no, we got a lot of crazy people to deal with, but that was pretty crazy right there. He got excited by my blood. Warner could not help identify the cloth, but he recommended I try the university. I'm afraid I disturbed him when I cut my finger. The sight of blood must make him nervous. Thank you for that follow or sub. I can't tell exactly what it is, but thank you so much. Um, all right. I think we got another address, though. University. And we, there we go with the, the, um, at least the, the Andrew cloth. So let's, let's go here. Where will Betsy? Yep. I'll put it in once I, I'd like to once I get in here. Queens Gate, <laughs> And we need to be mindful of the, the time too. Oh, what's this? I purchased this book by Byron from the Goldacre and Horner bookstore. Oh, it just says Byron. <laughs> okay. But well, we got the cloth in hand. The interesting pattern. Ah, uh, yes. Those beautiful designs. Uh, roses, I believe. Uh, oh, my. Uh, this cloth is over a century old. Where did you get this? Uh, I found it at my fiancé's house. Well, I simply must study it further. You must let me keep it and telegram you with the results of my research. You simply must. Certainly. Okay. So there we have it. <laughs> I, I, I remember that the cloth, like, like I was like, it happened something soon, but I couldn't remember what. So at least we, we, we did something with the cloth there. I took the cloth to Randall Briarcliff at the university. He says it is more than 100 years old. If so, how did Andrew come to possess it? A hundred years old. Hmm. May he have... Found the fountain of youth. Do -do -do. No, I'm not being stupid. <laughs> uh, all right. So at least we got that. Um, and he said he'll tell uh, telegram or telegraph the results to us. So that's two th two items that we get back at the house once we go back there. So the home home option in the the address book is looking really really good right now. Today, um, but I almost feel like. We shouldn't go there just yet. Except I need to check the clock too. Let's. I think I shall remain here, driver. Thank you. Let's be mindful of the time. Three ten p.m. Fudge! Time is flying. That the the bluefer lady might get me again. Where will Betsy here be taking us today, sir? Uh, we visit said already. We went to the bookstore now. Went to the asylum. Harker's home. Still potential there. Uh, Saucy Jack as well. Hades Club. We haven't been to the Hades Club in a long time. And Homewood's home. You might as well say we haven't been there in a while as well. Harker Pub Club. All right. Harker. Okay. Which Harker? Office or home? And then we we got it. We got to go home at some point soon, and hope that whatever is being sent to us uh, arrives. 
Yeah, we didn't have luck. So try home right now. Is that what you're saying? Try home now. Here, this is what I'll do. We're going to save. And we're going to do Dracula 6. I think I didn't... I don't think I used Dracula 6 yet. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay. What? What did it just say? Internal what? Internal RAM full. No! <laughs> Will they not let me save no more? Oh, crap. Uh... All right, we all right. Save over two, okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna save over two then. All right. So we're we're limited to one through one through five at this point. Um, why am I about to hit clip, uh, quit? So then, um, oh, oops, I didn't mean to exit the carriage. All right, so go back in. We're all set. As soon as you can tell me where you'd like to go. And then we're going home. Please take me to 45. Okay, nothing. So then... I think I'm gonna reload that save and we'll we'll wait a little longer. Maybe maybe we have to wait longer before something happens. And that was Dracula 2. Don't save Dracula 2. And what part of Okay. We're at the university. Home is definitely not where we need to be. So again, we haven't been to Homewoods in a long time. Hades Club, you might say we haven't been there in a long time. Uh, Saucy Jack, the Harkers. Uh, what did what did you say before? Bacon Harker Pub Club. Okay, which heart? If we go to the Harkers, which Harker first? Should we do the home or the office? I'm sort of thinking home. And we can always load it again. <laughs> good old, good old save state. 56 Rochester and Marble Arch Driver. All right, home it is. Uh oh, check time. 3:25 p.m. Okay, it looked it looked like it got dark to me. I got I got a little frightened there. I don't want to die to the bluefer. I'm sorry, but Jonathan is not here. Oh, well, perhaps later. Well, pardon my curiosity, but are you going somewhere? Well, Quincy is going to visit his grandmother. Oh, well, during the holidays. <laughs> it's been so long since she's seen him, and the country is lovely this time of year. Oh, I'm sure she'll be glad to have them. Grandparents thrive on the smiles of their grandchildren. I'd like to thank you for your gift to Anisette. The cross was very nice. Cross? Oh, yes. An old family heirloom. I hope it comforts her. She seems really sus. Really suspect. <laughs> Though, you know what? I want to reload that. I want to... Something also tells me some like, try to rose on her. I spoke with Mina Harker today. She was polite, but I could tell she was troubled. They are sending little Quincy to his grandmother's, and I believe Mina already misses him. Strange that they would send him away at a time of year when families should come together. Yeah, they are. Let me let me reload that, and we're gonna equip the uh, the rose really quick. I just want to. I'm curious. That was Dracula two, right? Dracula two. Dracula one is our new day save, so don't don't overwrite that. But let's go back to Harker home. 56 Rochester. A good day to you. And go 
here and equip that. And part of me just thinks that just because she was kind enough to give the gift, it's like give her something in return. And I can't think again, the rose, it's like, it makes no sense to give it back to Anisette or Juliet. So other than Mina Harker here, then maybe to Homewood. I'm sorry, but Jonathan is not here. Oh, well, perhaps later. Well, pardon my curiosity, but are you going somewhere? Well, Quincy is going to visit his grandmother. Oh, well, during the holidays. It's been so long since she's seen him, and the country is lovely this time of year. Oh, I'm sure she'll be glad to have them. Grandparents thrive on the smiles of their grandchildren. I'd like to thank you for your gift to Anisette. The cross was very nice. The cross? Oh, uh, yes. An old family heirloom. I hope it comforts her. In exchange, may I present you with this? Oh, I thank you, Mr. Morris. Alexander, I'd like to talk to you tomorrow at Mr. Bowen's funeral. Very well. They said tomorrow, Mr. Bowen's funeral. So cemetery, if we make it through the day, cemetery tomorrow, 10 a.m. Boom. I spoke with Mina Harker today. She was polite, but I could tell she was troubled. They are sending little Quincy to his grandmother's, and I believe Mina already That is weird. Him. I wonder what she wants to talk to me about at the funeral. And that sort of scares me that she wants to talk to me at the funeral. Uh, but then it should be public, right? <laughs> it's, t and it, it's 10 a.m. It should be safe. Okay. Um, Harker, Jonathan Harker himself was not at home. So maybe he's at the office. 3.55 p.m. I still feel like we should talk to him again. What part of our beautiful city would you like to see today? So, what do you all think? Should we hit up Harker's office? Should we go to the pub? Wait, I gotta scroll up to what Bacon said. I keep getting club and pub mixed up. Uh, pub, club. Okay, so, so then... Do we still want to stick to that? Go to Saucy Jack right now and then to the Hades Club? Or do we want to do the office, uh, Saucy Jack, and then Hades Club? Click the office, okay. And that was still Dracula 2, right? That was this is playing off Dracula 2 right now. Please take me to 45 Fen Church, St. Paul's. Alright, radioactive man. Let me see what time it is. Okay, we got like five minutes left. A good day to you. Thank you for seeing me, Mr. Harker. I'm it sorry did. I disturbed you at your home yesterday. Yes, well, what's done is done. Sir, I was wondering what you know about my brother's stabbing. Really, there's nothing to tell. It was an unfortunate incident, nothing which concerns us now. Well, sir, maybe you never suffered such a loss. But my brother's death will concern me until this matter is settled. Young man, what happened happened. You should be happy with your memories of him. How can you say that? I demand to know what happened. Mr. Morris, I believe this interview is over. Oh, Jonathan about to get knocked out. <laughs> Talking to me about my, my my brother who passed away. Take your time if you go over, no worries. Oh, this game is far from finished uh, Radioactive Man. So, um, yeah, like, I, I, would, I would say what Grimm said to me. Whenever you, whenever you feel ready and stuff, then I can, I can switch over. And maybe we can resume Dracula Unleashed another time as well. I know visiting a lawyer's office can be frustrating, but Mr. Harker is difficult beyond words. He was absolutely no help. 
I feel as though I'm getting nowhere. I wonder if we needed to give him something. What time is it? 4.45 p.m. Okay. Still, it's not early, but we're getting to that midnight hour. Maybe then, let's see if we can get past this day somehow. We used the car, the Van Helsing car. I don't know if we needed to uh, show that to Harker. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna play it out as if we didn't need to show him that. But uh, so that was his office. Then we said the the club. Let's hit up the club. And where were we? Sorry, the pub. We said the pub, then the club. So let's hit up the pub. Please take me to twenty, Surrey. She was really quite a fright of Bill began to dread. She gave him such an ugly bite. He bled and bled and bled and bled and bled and bled. I'm gonna put up a royal flag to cut off his blue head. It's a rather tasteless song. Oh, don't be too harsh on him. He's frightened. That seemed like that was useless. But we'll see. I heard the regulars at the Saucy Jack sing a grisly song about the blue for lady. They may have been laughing, but their fear was apparent. Yeah, that that, that was a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> I think we're getting Good evening, sir. Where can old Nettie take you tonight? Getting close to that time to put the blackjack back in hand. Uh let's hit up Hades. Please take me to 21 Scarsdale Villa, Kensington. We're here, sir. Six forty-five PM. I'm curious. Are you the Gold Acre of the Gold Acre and Horner Bookstore? Yes. Why does that interest you? Been doing some reading in the faint hopes of becoming cultured? Well, recently I've been to your store. That partner of yours is a rather odd fellow. <laughs> yes. Horner serves a purpose. That store is merely a hobby. It means no more to me than this coin. <laughs> Mm, we got a coin. Goldacre declared himself to be the controlling partner of the Goldacre and Horner bookstore. He doesn't seem to have much respect for Alfred, I'm afraid. Yeah, definitely a front. Uh, time check. 7.15 p.m. All right, getting close to that, that time. Uh, so we hit up all of our places. Oh, let's, let's examine this. Devlin Goldacre casually flipped me this gold coin. Hmm. Nothing, nothing worthwhile. Uh, part of me thinks... Good evening, sir. Where can old Nelly take you tonight? Part of me feels like, well, I should save. So we're, this was Dracula 2, right? So maybe, maybe Dracula 4 then? Save over Dracula 4, because I don't remember what 3 was. And then part of me thinks either to visit uh, Anaset again to 
see what kind of crazy Juliet might be doing there, putting some some bewitching spell on <laughs> Anaset to come and eat me, <laughs> or uh, or then yeah we try oh well then there's the Homewood office again or Homewood house, and then there's also home. Those I feel like are are our choices. All right, so let's try home then. Please take me to 45. We're not dead. What time is it? 7.30. 7.30 p.m. Nothing. Okay, nothing happened. We're going to reload. Yeah, I'm wondering now too, like maybe if it takes a uh, a night or something, you know. Good evening, sir. Where can old Nelly? Uh, let's hit up again. I, I right now I feel like these two are the the places we need to go. Anaset or Homewood. We'll try them. Let's try Homewood, and then we'll we'll try and set. I'd like to go to nineteen. Time check. Seven forty-five. All right. At least a lot of, a lot of time is in passing, which is good. Alexander, so good of you to join us at this sad time. Would you care for some tea? No, thank you. I'm very sorry about your driver. I wish that there was something that I could do. No more than I wish I could do something for any set. Such a sad night. We've not had such sorrow since your brother passed away. You know, I never did discover the circumstances surrounding Quincy's death. You would have been proud. While on our travels, we were beset by common criminals. Quincy sought to defend us and was cut down for his heroism. He was a good man, your brother. His death meant more to me than you know. Hmm. What? I feel sorry for my poor friends, the Homewoods, on their recent loss. Thank heaven that my brother's passing was not like their drivers. Arthur's explanation of Quincy's death seemed to make sense. Why is Father Yana so concerned? That makes me wonder. So we have a, a Father Yano's card. I wonder if I should have had that equipped. Company but doesn't give any leads. Maybe that list bit. What uh, what list bit? On that last bit. Like, I'm wondering if I should have had this equipped. Oh, send him a telegram too. Yeah, we could try that. Please don't kill me. 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 Twenty-three lux. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. We're live. What time is it? Nine fifteen p.m. All right, card equipped. Closed. Guess I'll have to come back another time. Crap. Um, should I reload the save? Where will we be going tonight, sir? All right, we're... We'll reload the save in a second. I'm hitting up Anis. No, don't go there. Don't. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad you have to confirm the selection. I'd like to go to 10 Campton Hill. Notting Hill, please. We're live. 
and 15 p.m. 10 15. Hello, Miss Culpepper. I'm here to see Anna Set. I'm sorry, Mr. Morris. It's late and she's in bed where all decent people belong. Good. Let her stay there. <laughs> She'll need to get out the bed. Stay there. Oh, boy. All right, good. Well, when's the last time you checked on her? Are you sure she's still in the bed? Are you sure? All right, we're still alive, so. <laughs> Just got roasted. Well, I'm, I'm glad instead of getting bit in the neck. Uh... Guess we could try home again. Yeah, let's try home. Please take me to forty five. We're live. I'm just so happy every time. <laughs> I'm so happy every time I step out the carriage and I'm not dead. Uh, no telegraph. Uh, telegram still. Hmm. What if I go to sleep and then maybe the telegram comes or package or whatever? We could try that. Dracula four, I think, is still the save we're on. So yeah, let's let's see what happens if I go to sleep. Is that him? I think that that's him. Like the same actor. This can't be. This can't be. And that's pretty nasty. <sighs> All right, no telegram came. The circumstances of Quincy's death plagues me throughout the uh Oh, day. I think I'm dead. Me at night. I think I'm dead. Only because it's like three three twenty five a.m. Three twenty five a.m. Yeah, we're, yeah, that's not a good sign. Yep, I'm dead. What's the matter? There, there. Nothing can be so bad during the holidays. No, I don't taste good. <laughs> Uh, well. Oh no, this this tragedy beyond measure. Did you call who is to save us? Who can destroy Dracula's evil mm. plans? But wait, there is still a chance. Were you to try again or <laughs> I say rise again? Yeah. Maybe. Radioactive man, are you about ready to go? Yeah, we can uh we can try Dracula Unleashed another time. Heck, maybe I almost feel like now I should add it to my own uh vendetta list. But give me a reason to play it again. But uh yeah, I think I'll call it here. Um and thank you for everybody that tuned in and provided input for the game. We can uh continue the viewer participation percent another time. Uh so then Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, so then I'll go ahead and cut here and then, yeah, Radioactive Man, as soon as you see me cut or uh, type go into chat, you can then go live, okay? Oh, you're welcome, Carolyn. Thank you again. Thank you, everybody. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Um, so I will catch you all later and continue to enjoy Sega Ween. Um, yeah, I'll see you all in chat.